How's it going? Today's video is about the audiobook module in Ashample Burning Studio 24. It makes your audiobooks work better with older players like your trusty car radio. Keep watching to learn how. So, why would you need this feature when you can also just copy audiobooks like any other audio disc? It's about metadata. Some players fail to read this data and won't play songs in the correct order. You may not notice this with regular songs, but you will when these songs are the chapters that make up your audiobook. The audiobook module in Burning Studio 24 fixes this issue. You can access the module through Audio Plus Music. Simply drag your audiobook files into the program window to add them to the project or use the plus button to select them the traditional way. This way, you can also import tracks from inserted audio discs by selecting Audio CD. If your audiobook consists of multiple discs, they'll be added sequentially. You can then edit title and artist of the book. Make sure to check the state of your project in the upper right panel for missing files, provided your audiobook includes this data. In most instances, Burning Studio will retrieve cover artwork for your project automatically, but you can also do it manually. First, click the cover image and select your preferred search engine. I'm using Google. Then, right-click a result and copy the image to the system clipboard. It will then be added to the target window automatically. Alternatively, you can also drag and drop the image into the window. Finally, click OK to apply the change. Many publishers split their audiobooks into tiny files, for example for monetary reasons. This makes navigating unnecessarily hard. Burning Studio can fix this too. Use the slider to adjust the minimum length of your files. We recommend a length of at least 10 minutes. The bottom panel displays the number of tracks before and after optimization. If you're fine with your tracks the way they are, you can also skip this step. You can burn your audiobook straight to disk or any connected USB drive. Use the drop-down menu to select the device target. You can also write your new files to hard disk by enabling Store to Local Drive. Finally, hit Next to render your project and OK to finish things up. Go back to the main menu will then take you back to the start page so you can tackle your next project. That's it for today. Check out the links in the description for other Burning Studio video tutorials. If you like this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to get notified when we release new videos about our software. Until then, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.